Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2023 horror film, The Nun 2. So this is the, I don't even know, ninth, tenth installment in the Conjuring franchise. There's been back and forth whether The Curse of La Llorona is part of the Conjuring franchise, because originally it was, but then the director said it wasn't. But like, it's the same priest in Annabelle. That's the same priest in The Curse of La Llorona. So it's obviously in the same universe. So idiots, I don't know. I don't know who's drinking what, but if the character, if the same exact actor is playing the same exact character in two different films, it's the same universe. Mind blowing. I know. So this film takes place in 56. The first nun took place in 52. We're first introduced to this nun character of Vladik, the, um, Vladik, Vladik, uh, the demon ex angel that they were, um, in the conjuring two when and we know that uh the frenchman maurice is possessed by vladik and s during an exorcism that lorraine and ed warren are part of in the 70s i believe late 60s early 70s uh, maurice touches her arm at one point and then that's when lorraine gets the visions of ed's death and that's what put her over the edge at one given point and that's why i didn't want her to do certain things for a while so like a lot of the conjuring universe's backstory comes from this main demon character from maurice so at the end of the first nun we have the uh demon inhabiting maurice again after thinking that it was sealed away with the blood of christ and so irene Teza formiga is back jonas Blanquet, Blanca, Blanquet. I don't know how to say his last name. Um, he's back as Maurice in this film. So Maurice, who still has Vladik in him, is traveling Europe. Basically, we're in Hungary. We're in. I think are we back in Romania at some point, and that's where the origin was. And then, like, we eventually settle at this old monastery, which then was turned into a winery, which is now a boarding school. There you go. If you could follow that, um, in France. So we're in France, right? Sister Irene is now in a convent in. Italy, Storm Reed is a new character in this. She plays Deborah. She and uh, Irene then are off to France. Great that Deborah wasn't invited, but she went anyway. And so it's now the two of them trying to figure out why is Vladik slash Maurice now in France and what's the purpose of killing these different priests and such along the way, right? Why are these kids being killed? Why are these other things happening? So then the story unfolds that Vladik is on the quest for the eyes of St. Lucy, who's the patron saint of the blind. So we get the backstory of how she was burned by pagans and the eyes were stolen away and kept as a relic and passed through the different family line since then, etc. So they have holy power. So this relic is what Vladik wants to restore the holiness that way they're no longer a demon. It was kind of rushed in the explanation, but whatever. It wants the power to be more powerful, but it could also be used against them, much like the blood of Christ in that vial in the first film was used against them to then seal them away, but they weren't sealed away because they inhabited Maurice. So then, then it's a matter of, then there's a demon, then there's this goat demon thing running around this boarding school. My problem with the chase scenes at the end was it was about like 10 girls 10 boarding school girls running away from this goat running away from Vladik but there was like 60 girls at one point so like where'd they all go I don't get it it's not just 10 girls in one dormitory it's there's a school worth of girls so like where did the rest of them go I don't know it was weird it's very strange so the fight scene of Vladik at the end, turning the blood of Christ, turning the wine that was left over from the monks into the blood of Christ, and then burn Vladik to then save Maurice. I loved. That was really cool. The special effects were really cool within regards to this. A lot of the, the wide shots of France, too, in the 50s, that was neat. I really liked that cinematography aspect and the prop, the costuming, the creature design. Very cool. But the story was about two hours long, and it just took forever to get there. It's very unfortunate. My other problem is, what's the point of this film? We know that Maurice is going to get an exorcism from Ed and Lorraine Warren at some point. He's going to grab Lorraine's arm, and she's going to see Ed's death because of Vladik, right? We know this. We know that happens a decade or so later. So what's the point of this film? We got Vladik away from Maurice, and he's alive and kicking again. Awesome. 
But then, like, we have that singular shot of, like, Maurice going away, doing his thing as the custodian, if you will, at the at this boarding school. And, like, Taser Formiga's character, Sister Irene, just stares at him and she just, like, like, she, she knows, like, something's gonna happen next. But, like, what's the point of continuously getting rid of this, exercising this demon for it then to not be fully exercised because it's back anyway? How many more of these are we going to do? Are we going to have six more nun films? What's the point? What's the... Maurice, we know, is possessed and touches Lorraine's arm in, like, the 70s. Which is, like, 20 years from when this story leaves off. What's the point of this story in regards to the full story? I mean, I liked that we have to find the relic to use it kind of a thing. I like that treasure hunting bit of this. I didn't expect it. But what's the point of the story in regards to the full Conjuring Universe story? I don't see the point of it. It was it was cute, if you will, which is weird to say for a horror film, but it's like it had cute jump scares. It's not like there was no terror factor to it because like the story is not really relevant to the main Conjuring storyline. I don't know. I thought the, the Annabelle prequels made more sense in the longer run garnering the different characters than jumping from different films. I thought that was appropriate. But I don't see the point of this nun spin-off in the same universe because we know how it ends. Did I, I feel maybe I missed something? Did I miss something? If I missed something, somebody please say it because I don't think I did because I pay attention to things. I didn't see the point of this film. It was cute. It's a cute horror film. The Nun 2. On to the next review. Which mahalo.